All right, Tony, bag of donuts. This is the Defender. So it it's obviously like modern and everything, but it has a uh, matte wrap on it to give it this really cool look. But you'll notice there's no hood shut line here, like there would be on the Range Rover. The hood shut line is actually right up here. So they've uh, probably increased the water fording capability of it by doing that. But I think this thing looks awesome. Let me open up inside for you. Now this wrap, you can tell it's a wrap because it's shiny inside the door jam and you can see where it wraps in. So I don't know if this is a factory wrap or if they did this just for the display, but we'll start with the uh, Torx bolts holding in the door card and you can see it's also the same paint color inside so it's a really nice paint job and then you got your sill guard this is leather got your power windows and your warning there for the uh, oncoming traffic memory seats defender sill leather padded dash storage area more storage down here cup holders wireless phone charging and this is really cool. You'll see there's a seal here. And then the box in here doesn't have any outlets or anything. That's your ice chest, which is really cool. And great leather seats. And if you look in here, these are backlit, but they're not lit up when the vehicle's off. And the press on them is, uh, they're, they're tactile. So they feel pretty good. And then you have auto stop start. You can hear how that sounds. The gear control, the gear levers up here. Electronic stop start, more storage up here for things. It goes even behind the screen for storage. You got your air vents up top. And yeah, here's the headroom. Plenty of headroom in here. And that's with the sunroof which has a power shade as well. So it's all up to date. It's very modern in here. You cannot move this. This is a fixed position. Let's move our way to the back seat. Meridian sound system. Same kind of thing back here. Split folding seats. Very cool texture. It's like a plastic, rubberized, matte feeling. We've got our air vents back here with air control to shut them off. We have more controls to change the temperature. I'm sure there's heated seats too. They would be in the display, but this is most likely a uh, prototype vehicle at this point. Power outlets, plenty of that. And they're covered so they don't get dirty. And we have this. This is a, uh, a little place where you can put in an arm extension to put a, uh, a, a coat hanger or one of the screens to hold an iPad. They've got a little power port here, USB power port. And the sunroof opens to just over the front of the occupant's head in the back seat. So that's really good. And look at this. We have light ports on the back. There we go. Let's move out. These are 22 inch Continental. Huge wheels. Looks really good on this vehicle. Wait till I show you the, the back of it. It's awesome. This will be the talk of all the major cities. Look at this. These tail lights are incredible. I hope that's allowed in the US. Freaking wicked. Let's see if I can get a shot here. There. Bam. You got your tow hooks on the back, your spare tire.
then back here, it's kind of like the Jeep Wrangler. There's no uh, rail to hang your accessories, but you do have a pocket, which is nice. And then the Wrangler has, like, the fixture here for the closing mechanism, and then it bu has a bump in. But here, we, it's, it's a flat tailgate uh, space that's taken up. So basically where this shut line is, is where the end of the trunk is, which is good. Back here, we've got the ability to raise and lower the suspension. I'm not going to touch it right now because there's a guy detailing the wheels on the outside over here. Uh, seats fold down. we got more speakers back here. I don't, know, I don't know what that is. And then we've got a power outlet. Oh, that's European. So this is definitely not for the U.S. Uh, what else do we have? Section here, I guess you can put more... Um, storage of devices, thin frame rail here, and then a gas strut, which seems to be holding this in place if you leave it. It doesn't, it won't be moved by uh, like a wind gust. Let's close this. And you can see the frameless glass look on the back. So when it shuts, it's one really smooth, flat look to it. That's awesome. That is awesome. Take a picture of that. Take a picture. There we go. That'll be on Instagram. We'll charge a higher rate. Let some people take their photos here. Yeah, that looks good. What do you think? I think it looks better than it did last night, but, yeah. you know. But I miss the old... I do. Of course, I miss the old lots of things, but I miss... My buddy had one of these, and... We spent a long time getting me together. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, there there's a night and day difference between the old one and this one, but yeah. this one allows you to buy a new one. Well, this one in the night and day difference, this looks like night... It does. It just yeah. lights the black, the, uh, the sort of dark copper. Well, the diamond plating on the hood there yeah. is, is not real metal diamond plating. It, it's solar panels, right? Uh, solar panels? Yeah. Well, see, the reason why that's there uh, is because the real diamond plating on the older one was so that you can actually stand on the hood and load the roof rack. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, this one doesn't have a roof rack. Well, his didn't have a roof rack either. That's probably why I don't know that. Okay. Well, my friend Tony Bag of Donuts yeah. told me about that because okay. he's, he's got a couple. Yeah. Uh, See, I don't want to do this with my, with my defender guy. No. I don't want to bring it home and clean it. <laughs> <laughs> you Ever. just want to keep it dirty? Ever. Yeah. 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 Let, me, uh, let me just scoop the inside real quick. Go right ahead. When are these going to be uh, in the U.S.? So they'll be available in spring. Spring, spring, okay. which will be the first edition, the S and the SE. Okay. This is the X. The X and the HSE will be available in the summer. Okay. And then we have our three door. So these are the Defender 110s, uh, which is a five door. The Defender 90, which is a three door, will become available in fall. Okay. And we're actually rolling out 500 in the Pangea Green first. Okay. And then other colors after that. And will they have those tail lights for the, for the U.S. or will, we, will yeah. it be different? Yeah. It'll be yeah. these tail lights. Yeah. Wow. We're pricing it. Yes, so okay. it's starting at forty nine nine for this or for the for the or the five okay. for the one ten the one ten standard or S yes yeah and then up there so this one as you see is about eighty six thousand which this is the Fender X okay, okay. Um, they will all come with uh, four different packs that you can choose from so we have the adventure the country the urban and the explorer pack aren't they different all different accessories Isn't that the idea behind it? <laughs> they're they're all capable. Okay. Urban, urban, urban adventure. adventure. Yeah. Who buys a Defender and besides durable. Prince Charles and doesn't use it? And he uses his off road. So, well, because he owns the land. Well, yes. Yeah. All the way. <laughs> Pretty much the forest the and the animals. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually, I was born in London. So I'm in the really? Oh, yeah. cool. Oh, okay. I actually just came back. I was there for a week and a half. Well, welcome oh, to the past. Yeah. Welcome to the past. <laughs> <laughs> 
Brexit. We'll see what. what that's just a few days away. And, Is it a few days away? Yeah, 31st. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me check out this uh, driver's side. Check it out. have mirrors here. So this has the mirrors that will, the fish finder, mm-hmm. or the depth. Yeah, uh, so yeah. the uh, waiting depth is uh, almost 3 feet, 35.4 inches. Okay, so that's up to the handles? Mm-hmm. Something like that? Yes. Yeah. And is this a factory matte wrap, or is this a, no, a show it, thing? It's factory, um, so it's an option. Um, it actually, if you get any scratches in this, some small scratches, once it sits out in the sun, it self-heals. Damn. Okay, so that's a factory option. Yes. Nice. Yeah, because I noticed it was a wrap when I opened the door and yeah, saw you the. Can see it right here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's okay. I mean, it's a very clean job. So, I like that. Okay, so it has the latest info uh, tech here on the gauges, and then a newer look here for the pads on the steering wheel, like the Discovery, basically. Yeah, and c- this will be a gas engine? No diesel. No diesel. Okay. Two powertrain options. You have a two-liter turbo, and then you also get a three-liter um, inline-six. That's a mild hybrid. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this... It, what size would this compare to, like, on the other uh, models you have here? Like, is this a little bit smaller than a Range Rover Sport? It's not actually bigger than a Range Rover Sport. Bigger? Okay. Yeah. Um, this seat, you can do 5, 6, or 7 seat configuration. Okay. And that's the Range Rover Sport. It's either 5 or you can have a 5 plus 2. Okay. Um, but the 2 is going to be more for small children. Tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to our Discovery, which is an actual 7 seater. Yeah, that's, that's my most, favorite. Yeah, most versatile utilitarian family oriented vehicle. Where in the third row seats, you can actually fit two full size adults in the third row seats. Yeah, yeah. Great. Okay, I don't want to get everybody on camera here, so I'm just going to pan around and. Oh, yeah, there's the Evoke. Yes. Yeah, very cool. But this is this is the, the winner today. <laughs> Yeah, this thing's awesome. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, everybody.